Hey there, welcome to Home Hunter. In today's video, I'm going to talk about age graded running. First, I'm going to try and talk about how and why you get slower with age. You do. Then I'm going to talk about age graded performance running. And finally, I'm going to figure out if you can be a better runner now that you're older. I'm making this video because uh, I've been interested in age-related performance well since I got a bit older and uh, I had planned to race my nephew to Jack 2.0 but uh, and then compare the data but he couldn't really get out of the bed of a Saturday morning so in this video I'm going to use my own data to assess age-related performance and I apologize yep I am croaky as you get older you get slower particularly above the age of 40 uh, you can try training better better diet better equipment uh, but the trend is ultimately towards slower performance as you get older. Uh, I mean, I do all the training, I try the diet, I <laughs> obsess about the equipment, um, but ultimately, yeah, I'm getting slower. So why? I read an article in Medicine and Science 2016, the relationships between age and running biomechanics. I'll put a link in the description below. But the overall conclusion, uh, it's written the way academics write, running velocity is inversely related to age, or you slow down when you get older. So what did they say about uh, why? So as you get older, your stride length decreases, your ground reaction forces, the power you can exert on push off from the ankle, uh, decreases because you've got decreased ankle power. So effectively, you've got shorter strides. Um, they're a killer for me because I already have short legs to begin with. <laughs> so if there was one thing I didn't want to get worse, it would be stride length, but that's the way it is. Um, interesting enough, there's not so much reduction in your knee or hip, uh, which I suppose is good news, particularly for those of us who have uh, slightly dodgy knees. Um, but the paper is really well worth reading. And uh, as I said, it's in the link below and I encourage all of you to have a delve into it. It's not all bad news, let's look at some positives. Well, we know that we lose absolute performance. We, overall, we get slower. But what about relative performance? What about my performance relative to other people of, of my age or my sex or running my distance? And uh, there's lots of websites with lots of data that you can look at that will give you some guidance about this. So how does it all work? Well big data lots and lots of data they take the world record for i think every gender every distance uh and every age and so for example they'll take the fastest uh 5k run by a 59 year old male and then they'll compare your performance in a particular race to one of the statistics they have on record in general the higher percentage the better if you hit 100 you are the record holder shouldn't be watching this video um, and uh, your percentage is compared across gender and age and distance so you can compare with other people uh, it's fantastic from that but in this video as i said earlier i'm stuck with comparing against myself the first one i looked at was the good run age graded percentage calculator and again there's a link in the description and I use it to check a few different things to see how my performance compares I took my 2022 personal best at marathon 5k and 1k and all based on watch time and then I thought that I'd get the best score from my 5k I felt that was the best followed by 1k followed by my fall off in the marathon so that's that's what I thought I would do or what the results I would achieve when I popped everything into the good run guide age graded calculator so in 2022, my marathon time is 3.53 and 10 at age 58. Then my 5K is 21 minutes 46 at age 59. Uh, my birthday was in March. And uh, the 1K was 3 minutes 38 at age 58, done just before I uh, turned 59. I should have waited and got a better score. Anyway, uh, so there are the times. And then let's have a look at the age graded percentage results. I'm not really sure how accurate all this age graded percentage results are, but but they're fun. And I mean, I'm always looking for something fun to spur me on. And I discovered that in the marathon, I'm 64.48%. And then in the 5K, I'm 71.52%. I knew it'd be higher, but I'm surprised. The 1K, I was 74.03%. So my best run, comparative to other people of my age, was in the 1K, which I ran. <laughs> I, was, I was really tired afterwards, I thought. I thought I, I really didn't feel I ran well at all, but I mean, maybe that's what I'm doing wrong. Maybe I'm supposed to be absolutely exhausted at the end of each of these. I've been running park runs, which I've been really obsessing and enjoying, um, but they're divided. They give you an automatic age graded calculator at the end. Uh, and when you go online, you can see 
millions of statistics from around the world. But anyway, you can see all of these statistics. Me, uh, any course in Ireland, who's fastest, age groups, the whole shooting match. But um, the park run is based on gun time. So when the gun goes, if it takes you a couple of seconds to cross the line, so be it. But anyway, um, my performances in the park runs were, I was at 72.16% the first time I went out. I did three. The third one was 72.88%. I was hoping to get higher this weekend. It's not sounding likely. <laughs> and then um, I suppose my overall target at the moment would be to try and get to 75%. If I could do that by next birthday, I'd be pretty happy. And uh, yeah, there's always, there's always some sort of metric I'm chasing. So a really interesting one for me is to compare my times now to when I was much younger. And when I was in my 20s, I ran a lot around London. Um, I used to run at, outside the with the Runner's Need shop in Camden, wonderful little, what was then a lovely small independent store. Um, it's probably still a lovely store, but back then it was very small independent. We used to go running in the evenings and uh, it was fantastic. And I entered the odd race. So I entered the building industry half marathon in Windsor and uh, we, we were a team of architects and we called ourselves the Parallel Motions. So my love of bad puns or cheesy puns was, was also active then. But I ran that in 1990 and my time was one hour, 28 minutes and 18 seconds. And that gave me a score of 67.12%. So a little bit better than my present marathon time. So I'm gonna have to go out later in the year and run a half marathon. And I think I can get above the 67.12%. <laughs> That's the plan anyway. I suppose the overall good news, the takeaways people like to say, is that my best age-related performance was this year. It's the 1K in 2022. I discovered that my relative performance at the shorter distance is better than a longer distance. Um, I suppose that stands to reason that I'm reasonably quick and then I get bogged down at the end of the marathon. I sort of, l sort of lose my way. It's probably a mental thing, but uh, I'm gonna work on that. Um, but you know, the best in the low 70s, it's not too shabby, um, considering, you know, all the other things, but it's always really good to feel that, yeah, you might be getting slower in absolute terms, but in relative terms, you might be a much better runner. And so I encourage you all to go on to the age graded percentage calculator and have a look. And James Joyce's Ulysses, young Stephen Dedalus says, every day is many days. Day after day, we walk through ourselves, meeting robbers, ghosts, giants, old men, young men, wives, widows, Brothers in love, but always meeting ourselves. This quote has always resonated with me. Um, I often think about it in relation to running that ultimately I'm always only running against myself. Much as it would like to be to be much better, ultimately I can only compare my performance against myself, which is just as well really seeming as Jack failed to get out of bed to make the race last Saturday morning. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you did, it'd be great if you hit the like button. As always, there'll be lots of stuff in the description below, links to all those websites, and I'll happily answer any questions you pop into the comments. There'll be a big blue subscribe button popping up there, and some related videos there. Thanks for watching. Until the next video, just keep running along.